Hello, spies. I'm Caden. And I'm Izzy. And I'm about to lose it. My sister keeps ditching school and not getting in trouble. What? I'd never get away with ditching. Meanwhile, my sister sits out class after class. It's not fair. Why do you even care? It's the principle of the thing. If I would get in trouble, she should get in trouble. Okay, bud. Here's our message from HQ. What's it say? It says, we have to use our spy skills to catch a sneak in the act. Perfect, we can catch my sister. I'll set up a booby trap to draw her out of her room. And I'll sneak in and check her notepad. She had to have forged a note from our mom to get out of school. First, I'll make a water bucket booby trap. When Izzy's sister gets home from school, she'll go into her room, trip the booby trap, and get soaked. For this, you'll need a small plastic bucket, a square of hard plastic, water, a push pin, heavy string, a pair of pliers, a hot glue gun, a screwdriver, scissors, duct tape, and a cutting board. Remove the handle from your bucket. Turn it upside down. Poke a hole in the center with a push pin. Wiggle the pin around to make the hole wider. Use a screwdriver to widen the hole. Hold the end of the string with your pliers and feed it through the hole. Pull the string through. Tie a knot at the end. Put glue on the knot. Pull the string back through. The knot will get glued to the hole. Flip the bucket over. Glue around the hole so no water can get through. Pull the string up while the glue dries. Poke a hole in the center of your plastic square. Widen the hole with your screwdriver. Feed the untied end of the string through this hole. Use your pliers to help. Before you cut off excess string, first you need to know how long your string needs to be. For this, you'll have to go to the door you're gonna booby trap. Once you have the correct measurement, tie off the string. This will keep it from slipping through your plastic square. Cut off the excess. Set the trap. Tape the square to the ceiling inside the door. Fill the bucket with water. When someone pushes open the door, the bucket will tip over. The string will keep it hanging from the ceiling while the intruder gets soaked. Once Izzy's sister's covered in water, she'll have to run to the bathroom and clean up. Then Izzy can go into her room and do some digging. I think my sister's been forging notes from my mom so she can get out of class. I need proof. I'll use this spy trick to find out what she wrote on her notepad, even though the note's long gone. For this, you'll need the notebook you're trying to spy into, a lead pencil, a craft knife, a small bowl, and a paintbrush. I'll sneak in, read what the note said, and sneak out. Revenge will be mine. Use the craft knife to shave away the lead in your pencil. Make sure you do this over your bowl to catch the lead. Be patient, this'll take a while. Open the notebook to the page that was torn out. This is the page behind the note. Use the paintbrush to brush the powder over the page. This will reveal the imprint left behind when the note was written. I got it! Dear Principal Weathers, please excuse Tina from school today. She's sick. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Newman. Got her. Just waiting on Iz to get back from her sister's room. Oh, I bet we got her good. Can't wait to hear all about it. Hey. Wanna discuss all this water on your head? Well, Caden, I'd love to discuss it. I got home from school and heard the shower running. Figured all sissy had already fallen into my trap. I ran into her room to sleuth and boom, soaked. Turns out she never went into her room. Just took a post-stitch day shower. So here I am, self-sabotaged, annoyed, betrayed. I'm sorry, Iz. Has your thirst for revenge been quenched? I deserve that. Click here to subscribe to DreamWorks TV and click here for more DS Spy episodes. Don't forget to let us know in the comments below if Izzy's pulling off the fog glasses look. Thank <laughs> you.